Hi, everybody. Um, so, uh, welcome to the, to Genevieve's Zen Garden. Uh, today I'm going to show you something a little different. Um, for, in case you've been wondering, uh, what's inside Crafters Companions, uh, kits, this is one of them. This is the latest one. And, um, they're usually pretty good. Some of them are, are fantastic and some are just all right. Uh, so it's kind of hit or miss, but um, if you're a new crafter or somebody who's just getting into like certain aspects of craft, these are fantastic. Uh, they're just a phenomenal value and there are a lot of uh, videos um, that Crafters Companion puts out showing you how to use the products. But uh, anyway, this is the latest one. This is the second time I'm doing this video uh, because the first time I hadn't opened the box and uh, when I opened it, it made so much noise that it was just really annoying. And I just didn't want to put you guys through that. So uh, anyway, here we go again. All right. So this is the kit. This is um, kit number 22. And it is the, um, the Crafter's Companion Sparkle Ink Craft Kit. And inside this kit... Um, are sparkle inks. Uh, there are four pieces, four of them. Uh, they're the clear acrylic stamps, 27 pieces, card blanks, 16 pieces, and they're all different sizes. Uh, envelope, same thing, different sizes to match the uh, card blanks. The die cut sentiments, uh, there are 18 pieces of it, and I actually think you could use them as like uh, stencils for a few. Uh, 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 just a little bit. And you'll see what I mean when, when I take them out. Uh, there's a colored card pack, which is really, really, um, has beautiful colors. Uh, the watercolor resist cards so that in case you want to use the inks without, um, turning them into watercolors or not using water, water on them. Uh, they're watercolor cards, uh, 24, all different sizes, 24 pieces, and the pipettes so that you can put the water on, on the inks and a spritzer uh, bottle as well. All right, so let's open this kit up. All right, now with every single kit that Sarah sells, you know, you get a really nice um, opening uh, statement from Sarah just saying, you know, hey, thanks for buying this and, uh, Here's your stuff, you know, here's the, here's the stuff I've put together to make this, all right? So, um, it comes with these really, really great stamps. Um, they're beautiful. I love the butterflies. Sarah has a thing for butterflies, so they're always like tons of butterflies enclosed in her, in her kits and, and, and projects, which, uh, is really, really nice. And I've actually been looking for a feather, um, stamp somewhere so uh there's one and it's a pretty good size and this this part down here you can use like as a background um you know as at the bottom of the card if you like uh which is nice and this is the other one i'm, I'm going to turn this light off for a little bit so we can this is the next one which is a fairy one and i love fairies so uh, you can't have enough enough fairy stamps and these say uh like make a wish uh you are so loved uh thank you and raindrops are like fairy whispers which oh my god that is so cute let me show you this other one because you may not have been able to really see it uh as well because of the glare you know there are like great things with using uh, a good light on this and 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 other things that are just not you know so here are the card blanks okay and as you can see they're all like different sizes so uh that comes in handy uh these are the envelopes once again uh different sizes uh with the envelopes coordinating in size as well here are the watercolor cards same thing all different sizes watercolor resistant cards okay which are great they have a um i don't know if you can see it but they have um here let me see if you can see that a little bit you see there's a little design on there so
so that you can color that in. See that? There's a little. So these are the um, are the um, die cuts on here. But you know what? I I would use this also as a stencil, uh, just a couple of times. You know, because it, it might be cute to have all of this in the background of a card. Uh, inspire, dream, live, wish, family, amazing, believe, uh, live, and laugh. I, I think that would be so cute. So uh, so anyway, I would use the die cuts and then I'd use it as a, um, as a stencil. Uh, this is the little uh, spray bottle. Uh, to spray on your the water to the um, you know on the inks and these are the little pipettes to use for you get four of them to use um, to apply water on your inks not in the inks but you know you put a little bit of the ink on the side of the of uh, your glass surface or on a on a something that's like plastic you know and then you can uh okay this right here these are the these are the um the colors okay and these are spec uh sparkle uh colors so these are you know for accents and for coloring your stuff of course you have to use the stamp stamping ink that's um uh water resistance resistant for your stamps because otherwise it'll run so unless you want that kind of look with like a blurred edges but otherwise you have to use a uh, watercolor resistant inks or water resistant ink and um and then you you can use these on them now um this is called pink garnet beautiful color but you'll see one thing uh as you look at the bottom of these colors um here's moonlight see the bottoms of this okay and then the rest of the color this one is gorgeous this is called aquamarine okay and um this one is called crystal clear okay now here's the thing this is what I wanted to show you so all of the sparkle is at the bottom of these um of these jars so what you have to do and see there there's a little black there's a little black like marble in there that's meant to mix up the colors so you have to try and mix them up you don't have to shake it vigorously but you you do kind of have to um, mix them before, right before you use them. Same thing with this. Do you see? See here? You have the, um, you have all of the sparkle down at the bottom. So if you don't shake them well, see right there? That That's a really good um, shot of the difference here. See that? If you see the, if you don't mix the sparkle, uh, well with the paint you're not going to get the sparkle on your store or, or as much sparkle as you could get same thing here see that so that's why they have that little do you hear the sound they have a little a little uh marble in there you don't have to shake you know vigorously you just have to like swirl it around right right before you you use it you know um and so those come packaged really nicely and they come in a, in this box and everything but as I said this stuff was making so much noise it it I just there was no way I could I could um just let that go through. All right, so these are the papers that um you can use to um you know on your cards or to embellish things or you know um as backgrounds Whatever you want to do. The, the colors are just gorgeous. So this purple, you're always going to find purple and butterflies in uh, Sarah's stuff because she loves that color and she loves butterflies. And here's a beautiful pink. Love this.
Oh, this is such a beautiful blue. Okay, so these are gorgeous. So that's everything that comes in this kit. Um, and as I said, this is this is nice. Uh, now, this ink, this sparkle. Um, sparkle ink that's in here is also what's inside the pens uh so if you own the pens and you know you've seen sarah um putting a little bit uh on her glass mats and then using uh, a paintbrush which is not included in this kit by the way so you have to add that but it's no biggie it's just a little paintbrush um and she uses that to like paint on the cards and, and designs that are, you know, that she's, you know, other designs that she's had stamped on, on cards. And, and, uh, this is the same thing, but this is just in a jar. It's not in the pens, but it does the same function. So, um, anyway, so this is what you get in here. Now these, these subscription boxes were, um, they were originally um, part of a of an auto ship for HSN uh, about a year and a half ago, and as you can see, where this one is box number twenty two, so we've had quite a few, you know, boxes um, twenty two to be exact. But um, occasionally, she does take on new um, new people for the auto ship, um, and also. You can uh, you can find some of this stuff uh, on the craftercompanion.com dot um, page if you can't if you can't find it at on HSN. But sometimes they have like um, a few extra, and you'll be able to f buy the kits. Now, one of the kits that is phenomenal um, that you should buy if you get a chance is the um, the foam flower making kit that is just gorgeous um really really worth every single penny and sometimes if you if you're lucky uh you can find a a craft kit or two at Tuesday morning uh but as i said um they're really really uh a a, a good deal especially if you're a new crafter or if you've never tried uh like flower making or, uh, you know, stenciling or any of the, um, any specific, um, uh, things like working with edibles, etc. This, they're, they're a treasure trove. Um, sometimes it's a little repetitive for people who are experienced crafters, but, you know, um, Sometimes getting your hands on the stamps or the dies and all of that are just worth the price alone. But as I said, um, I happen to like this kit. So um, anyway, thank you for um, for visiting with me today. And uh, I hope you you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. All right.